All right, everybody. Just wanted to show you today how to do a, a, a VBA combo box. This is called the VBA combo box. And this is a little demonstration uh, brought to you by Global Global Con Services. And you can start out by uh, well, right here, what you're seeing on your screen is uh, is Excel. 2002 or 2003 if you're using some above like it's sold 2007 or 2010 or on up from there uh, you'll have to do it your your user interface can look a little bit different than this but uh, and I'm going to show you how to, how to go by doing that but in Excel 2002 uh, to access the control menu which we need when we put a combo box on the on our spreadsheet here uh, we're going to look at the control toolbox. Okay, so add that control toolbar. If you're using a version of Excel, like I said, a newer version of Excel, like Excel 2000, where you have the ribbon uh, in the top left-hand corner, you should see a, a little a little dot, an Excel Office uh, toolbar or an Office. You could access all the all the office options or the Excel options for that. So uh, you'll click the button, and then at the bottom of the list, you'll see Excel options, and then you'll you'll select Excel options, and you'll select the to show the developer toolbar, and the developer toolbar is what you need to access the, all the uh, the control toolbox and all those all those. Uh, those menus now back to back to the program here okay uh, why would we need a why would we need a combo box well say you have on your spreadsheet here I'm gonna br bring it up just a bit uh, you have a worksheet called uh, data data and on that worksheet you have this simple colors okay it could be it's anything red uh, yellow, blue, this may be uh, employee numbers or whatever, but I'm going to keep it on the simple because I really don't know what you're looking for, what you need, but you could apply the same type of thing for some, something else. So this worksheet contains all the uh, specific data. Then on this worksheet, you're going to access the this stuff in this worksheet. So, uh, for instance, we're going to use a combo box. So, we use this little button called combo box, and I'm going to click, and drag, and make this big combo box here. Okay, notice that I'm in design view right here, and that way I can access the button. If you choose not to access the if you use the exit design mode you can't access the button anymore okay you see that there's nothing in here now notice that there's nothing and that's real important because uh, we want to fill this up with the colors that are on this data sheet with all these colors okay it's real important to know also the okay what sheet is on and what cells you're going to be accessing Alright, so back to this example. Uh, notice I can't access anything here, so I have to go back and do design mode. And then I can write, I can click on the box, I can access the properties. And down the list here, I'm going to, I can have a linked cell, which is real important if I want one of these cells to uh, keep the value of whatever's in the combo box. I'm not really doing that right now, but well, for example, just for real quick, uh, linked cell. Let's see if I can show this to you here. Okay, linked cell is going to be the, the cell that has a value. It's not really a VBA, but uh, we'll go ahead and say A1, let's say A1. And then the list fill, and that's just for grins and giggles. So uh, list range is going to be our, our sheet data, okay? And then it's going to be whatever cells there were. Let's see what cells there were. 
So a2 to a5. A2 to A5. Let's see, where am I at? So it's not just cell A1, or sorry, it is cell A1 for the link cell, but for this, we have data, and then my bang symbol, which is my exclamation point, and that's my object referencing here, and then A2 to A5. Okay? That's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Up. Well, I'm not going to close that up yet. But what I am going to do is get out of design mode here so I can see my values. Ta da! Here are my values. And notice that my link cell shows up here. Okay, yellow, green, yellow, red, red. Okay, so that's kind of a, and if I, if I change the value here, uh, yellow to make it, oh, I have, bl I have a black. Black's a fair color, let's see. Red, and then I have black here now, instead of yellow. So uh, it automatically changes. Now the axis is in, in, in the code. I'm going to go ahead and look at the look at renaming my button here, my little drop that box, my combo box from combo one. I'm going to change the name to CBO Colors. Okay, so now the box has a name, and I'm going to double click on it and uh, pause the video while I go ahead and program some code in here. When I double click the, bu the button or the combo box, I'm getting the, the t this template to show up. This template, private sub, the colors change. What happens when the change, when the change occurs? I'm going to go ahead and dimension a variable. Dim color as string. And then uh, my color is going to be equal to whatever the, the whatever the value of the combo box is at that time. And then I'm going to pre beautify that box by getting rid of all the all the weird spaces. So if your color equals, I'm going to trim the string, get rid of the the beginning space and the ending spaces. And next, I'm going to go ahead and select. I'm going to use this this type of structure. Select case str color, and then and select. I'm just going to set set myself up here, and then case case blue, and then I'm going to do something. If the case is blue, if I selected blue. Ah, I can't type uh, and case if the uh, case is uh, black and if the case is something else and then if the case is something else I'm going to say uh, the case is message box B dot CBO color and the case is black. I'm going to say the message box is going to be black. And if the case is blue, I'm going to have the message box say it's blue. By far, you have a lot of different statements. The select case structure is the best one to use because you can analyze the different different values a whole lot easier it looks better on on the screen okay let's go back and look at this little box here remember I'm taking out of this control box the design mode and I'm saying now if I buy I'm saying if I change this to blue blue pops up if I change it to black black should pop up it does and if I change to other color like red red pops up and if I change to green green pops up 
So really I'm concerned with uh, it, whether the color is black or blue. If these colors I don't really need to do anything special with, but I do need to do something special with it if they select black or blue. So thank you for watching and I wish the best success in your programming efforts.